Hi House is one of the University of Wollongong's accommodation. By watching this video, you can know everything you need to know before coming to Hi House. Hello everyone, I'm Kazuma. I'm a study abroad student from Japan. And in this video, I would like to review Hi House from the point of view of Campus East. Because I already stayed in Campus East in the previous semester, I can compare Campus East and Hi House. So if you are struggling with making decision of which accommodation to stay, this video will definitely help you. And if you want to have a look of Campus East as well, I already made a video for that. So please check it out. Okay, so here we go. Here is the dining hall. Breakfast starts from 7.30 and end at 10.30. On Monday, Wednesday and Friday, we have a meal and a yogurt. But the other days, we have only bread and yogurt. The quality of the food is almost the same with Campus East, so you can expect the same thing in Campus East. We have multiple breads as well, and my favorite one is this fruit bread. And butter, and peanut butter, and jam, and honey. And we have of course toaster, and a coffee machine, and we can brew tea as well. Breakfast is kinda important time to talk with other people and make friends, so I really appreciate this time and enjoy it. And next, this is my room. Unlike Campus East, we do not have to share the unit with other people. It's kinda your private own room, but it's a bit smaller than Campus East's room. And desk is also smaller. But it's just my opinion, and it's just compared to Campus East. So basically, you will not have any problem and trouble. It's so clean and comfortable room. And this is toilet and shower room. This is also the another big difference from Campus East. In Campus East, each unit has its own toilet and shower. But in here in our house, each floor has its own toilet and shower room, and we need to share it. And this is the laundry room. It costs $2 to use washing machine and the same with drying machine. It is enough big and I use it once a week. And there is a place I can hang the clothing outside so I do not have to use drying machine. And next, this is the bike stretch. It's for free. I store my own bike here. You can charge your electric bike as well. And here is common kitchen. Compared to Campus East, it has much more facilities and it is bigger. I house is catered accommodation, but if you still want to enjoy cooking, this room is quite helpful. And next, games room and music room. Music room is quite unique to I house. In Campus East, there's no music room. Personally, I play the guitar. It's a really good point. And here is the games room. It's also quite almost the same with Campus East one. I used to play much better. And here is another common area. It's called Let Room. Here we can watch Netflix, YouTube, and Amazon Prime together with friends. And the best point of iHealth is convenience for commute. From North Wollongong Station, iHealth is just 5 minute walk. During this summer vacation, I needed to go to Sydney for my internship, so it was much more convenient than Campus East. And from the North Wollongong Station, we can take the free shuttle to get to the campus. Now is the time for dinner. It starts from 5.30 and ends at 7.30. It's the same with Campus East, but Campus East provided more vegetables. Okay, so now it's a dinner time and then I'm having dinner outside with Marcelo. Hi everyone and thank you for watching my video. I hope this video was quite informative and helped you making decision of which accommodation to stay. Because accommodation is very very important in studying abroad. Because it's the main place to make friends and socializing with other people. In this video, I compared Campus East with iHouse. And by doing this, we could see some difference. So I hope 
by watching this video and by watching another video of Campus East, you can see the difference and compare each of them and then see the, the different color or like a different atmosphere of each accommodation and I hope you can make your own best decision. I do not like generalization, so I cannot say which is better and which is worse. But personally, I prefer Campus East, but it's because it matches with me. So it doesn't mean Campus East is better than IHOS. I really respect your, make your own decision, so maybe you will definitely enjoy your accommodation life. So hope you enjoy your studying abroad and your study here in University of Wodongong. And I will continuously make videos about UOW and I want to help you guys about through this, through your studying abroad and through your study. So please watch my video. Thank you so much and subscribe my channel. See ya!